Okay, so um, if you are watching this, then you've decided, you've opted into a tutorial for that amazingly epic demonstration of how to create your own adventure in Google Stories. <clears throat> I'm sorry that I can't script it out in my blog. I don't have the capacity right now. I am so drained. You wouldn't know it because I'm still bubbly. I'm still Annabelle, but the reality is I am drained, my eyes hurt, my head hurts, my body hurts, and it is Friday evening, and I just, I can't, I can't, but I want to get this blog done for you, and I know you're going to love it, so here we go. You start with your standard Google form, okay? You can see I've done my typical, like, check-in, hey, how are you doing, with my Bitmoji, which I think makes it a little bit more personal. Right now, it's really hard to be authentic over over asynchronous lessons. I mean, it's a really hard during synchronous lessons, even harder during um, asynchronous lessons. So, hey, how are you doing? Like, what's your name? Tell me how you're feeling. I said, I'm, I'm feeling excited today, because I am, I'm really excited to show this to y'all. And then they check in. Now I'm gonna add my first question. My first question is like the kickoff to the story, okay? So maybe first you even add text. Okay, if you're gonna add text, I wanna point this out to you. Look how small those words are. I don't like using this except for to post a link. So I'm not gonna do this. Or you can and you can like paste a link to a Google Doc, okay? Let's say I'm gonna say, I'm gonna delete this and instead I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna open a new Google document and say, I'm gonna do this in English because people of all different languages are watching this video, or I hope they are. So I'm gonna say, um, in this store, in this, today, <laughs> today, you'll be creating your own adventure. Choose wisely and remember as many details as possible as you create your own unique tale. Okay? Now I'm going to screenshot this. I'm on a Mac, so I do Command Shift 4. Screenshot. You can use a snipping tool if you don't have a Mac. I'm going to go back into this create a question, add an image, hit browse. That screenshot was saved to my desktop, there it is. Open, insert that image, and boom. Look at how much better this looks, okay? Look at this versus, let me show you what it looks like if you don't do that. Today you are, Read this. Today you will be, look at that. Look at how small it is. That's not good for the kid's eyes. It's not good for our eyes. Take a screenshot, make it an image. Today you'll be creating your own adventure. Choose wisely and remember as many details as possible as you create your own unique tale, okay? Um, that extra line is my cursor because that was there. Now I'm gonna hit add a question. I actually wanna drag this because I want it to be after that image title, right? Oop, hello. Let me all drag this one above it. There we go. So, image title, mm, boy. Okay, it's today. Okay, question number one. <gasps> um, tonight, today, I went to the grocery store. I took my option one, car, Ferrari. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Actually, I love my car. Her name is Penelope. I took my car, my Ferrari, my pink, hot pink Ferrari. Or I took my right neon Harley motorcycle. Dude. Okay, 
So I've created my first question. Their choice, their answer to that question will decide, determine the rest of the story, right? The beauty of this is I can now, instead of adding another question, I come down here. Do you see how my cursor is extra big? That's because I want you to see. <laughs> so I come down here and the bottom thing says add a section. So I'm gonna add a section. That means this is gonna be the only thing they see on the first page. If I preview it for you right now, they will see, hi, what's your name? How you feeling? Today you're gonna create your own adventure. And then that question, then they have to hit next. So it's looking good so far. Now, the second section is gonna be titled, um, uh, me, my Ferrari, and some troubles. Okay, that's the title. That's the, the title of the section. I'm gonna create a question in that section. While on my way to the store, my Ferrari broke down. Oh no. I had to call my mom my best friend, Billy Bob Joe, okay? There's the first option, but then wait, <gasps> there was another option up there. What if I took the bright neon Harley? What if that's what they wanted me to take, okay? Or what if, what if that's what they wanted to take? Come back up here to this question, I click up here. I'm gonna click add a section again. So I'm adding a new section. The section is called bright neon Harley motorcycle, or no, the section is called um, my Harley was, um, I parked my Harley, parked my Harley, and then, okay, that's the section title. Now I have to add a question. When I parked my Harley, at the store, I saw my uh, teacher, my crazy Spanish teacher, or Julia, my hair, no, Paul, it's gotta be Paul, my husband. Paul, my barber, cool. So now I have two sections. Now this is the key. This is the thing that makes it all happen. You come up here, you click on required, mm -hmm. okay? They have to answer whether they go in a hot pink Ferrari or a bright neon Har Harley, okay? Now, <clears throat> you can add a picture to these if you want to. You could be super extra, all the things. That also helps aid in comprehension, remember if like, or you could add like um, emojis, right? Hot pink Ferrari, oop, hot pink Ferrari. <laughs> it doesn't look like a Ferrari, but you get the idea, right? You can add emojis to help aid in comprehension. This is the most important thing. These three dots next to required, click on them. Click on go to section based on answer, right? Go to section based on answer. If they choose hot pink Ferrari, click here, and you want them to go to my Ferrari had some trouble. If they choose hot pink Ferrari, you want them to go to the that section. If they choose my bright neon Harley motorcycle, um, they're gonna click on, I park my Harley and then. They're not gonna click on that. That's what they'll, they'll go to, okay? So then they'll come here. Now, as you predict, I need to create new sections, two new sections from here, two new sections from here. Here's a secret. In the story that I did previously, that I showed you how excited I was, if they chose that the, they saw a tiger eating cookies, it went to a section that said the sugar made him crazy and he escaped out the door or the window. 
in the monkey eating ice cream, it said he went crazy. He out, he escaped out of the door of the window. So it was pretty much the same section. I just edited one thing. That's because you can duplicate a section. Okay. So let's say I saw my crazy Spanish teacher and Paul, my barber, I wanted the next section, create a new section to be like, um, we said, hey, watch this. Add a question to that section. When we approached each other, we gave each other big, uh, we did our secret handshake, and I said, what are you eating for dinner? Or I said, what? Or I said, what are you doing here? Okay, now watch this. When I parked my Harley at the store, I saw my crazy Spanish teacher or Paul, my brother, my barber. <laughs> Paul is not my brother. Nick is my brother. Paul is my husband. Okay. <clears throat> Click on these three dots, click, go to section based on answer. My crazy Spanish teacher, it will send them to, we said, hey. Paul, my barber, it will send them to, we said, hey. I could send them to the very same section or I could alter this ever so slightly by clicking here, it, I can duplicate the section, duplicate the section. We said, hey, and I can say, when we approached each other, Paul and I to make them feel like it is an individual section, right? Mm, who is the other person? Ah, uh, La Loca and I, right? Okay. We said, hey, Loca. I need to label it so I remember. We said, hey, Paul, and then boom. When I go here, back here, I say, go to section, we said, hey, loca, and Paul, my barber, we said, hey, Paul. Now, the most important thing is that at the end, let's say that's the last question, at the bottom of that section, you have to say, continue to section, submit form. Or if you're going to create a section that makes them summarize, you create one summary section that it goes to. And then that section has to go to submit form. If you don't do that step, like what was the last step of this one? I part my Harley then. Oh, that wasn't the last section. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay. After section two, they go to next section because it's already listed in here and then after this one uh yeah mm -hmm. after they answer this one they're going to see we said what are you going to eat for dinner they're going to go to submit form okay and after section five they're going to be sent to the same question go to section based on answer um you can make another one or they submit form, submit form. I just want you to see like the final product because you can make as many sections or as many options as you want. So now if I preview it, I'll say Annabelle is my name. I'm feeling happy. Today you'll be creating your own adventure. I went in a hot pink Ferrari. Thank you very much. While on my way to the store, it broke down. I had to call my mom. Submit form. Boom because I only made two sections in that. Make sense? Now, the, ki the beauty of these is that I don't care if kids go back and do it again because they wanna know what happens in the other reality. What if I chose the motorcycle? Does it give me more? The beauty of this is they're gonna want to know the alternate. Kids who don't have time to know the alternate, that's okay, they'll just do the bare minimum. But there's that curiosity. It pushes you to want to read more. And guess what? They're reading in the target language. <laughs>
It's the best thing ever. I, I am so excited. Okay, it is time for me to log off because I need to spend some time with my family who are on their way home now um, before I have a live Q&A with my PLC tonight. <gasps> La familia loca. Um, I love y'all. I hope you have a great day. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was awesome. I can't wait to see what you do with these. Let me know. I'm super excited about all the possibilities. The possibilities are endless. I haven't even thought of all of them yet. It's so cool. Okay. Love y'all. Have a great evening. Bye.